This is a Curvy 3D4 tutorial discussing joining and merging shapes together. I'll be using this uh, cave troll as an example, and we'll be joining his his skin, his hands, his feet uh, from basic primitives into a smooth skin ready for sculpting. These are all the original parts. You can see the blue lines, uh, the curves I drew to make each part. They're like two, three or four lines drawn to make each shape. So they let you define the volumes of the shape quite quickly. But then you want to join them together into something smooth for sculpting. So let's start with the, the arm. Now in the Groups panel, I've grouped all of these parts together by dragging them on top of each other. So you can see the simple mesh each one's made of. And I'm going to use Voxel Merge Group to join them all into a single skin. This makes a slightly rough mesh, so we're going to polish it using relax. Relax keeps the the volume of the mesh while smoothing out the vertices whereas smooth tends to shrink the mesh slightly. Now it's a single skin and it's ready for for sculpting. So we can further fill in the gaps between the shapes or redefine the the edges with the pinch brush. Um, okay, next we're going to merge the torso. We're going to use exactly the same technique, group the objects together by dragging them onto each other in the groups window and then use voxel merge group. You'll notice this has come out, you can see the original quads in the belly and um, this is because we used too low a resolution for the the original objects so we can increase the resolution slider which will give more definition when we do the voxel merge just repeat the merge and now the the belly is much smoother and when we uh, relax the mesh it gives us a nice smooth skin again. Sometimes when you do a merge, uh, there'll be tiny little snags in the model where the mesh was too dense and it didn't quite work out the answer correctly. I'll, I'll show you how to fix these in a second. Just using the pinch brush to refine. There you see two snags in the middle. I'm going to use the mask brush with a very small radius to select the area around the snag, delete it, and then use mesh, cap holes, and smooth with S to get rid of the snag. So again, we're going to select the mesh around the snag. Delete the snag cap holes and smooth with S. And the little black dot is uh, left over, it had the wrong colour set for that vertex, so I'll use surface colour clear to, uh, to clear the colour back to white. I'm going to do this, rename the, the parts so I keep track of them in my groups window. And we're going to do the same merge on the other arm. Mesh voxel merge group. And then relax. Okay, we now have um, three parts and it's quite easy to sculpt these separately before we further join them together. But when you're ready, you've done enough sculpting, you'll want to join the arm onto the torso. 
I'm not going to use voxel merge here because it'll make a slightly messy edge um, under the armpit. I'm going to use a different technique. I'm going to use weld to parent. So to weld to parent, you need to put the arm parented under the torso and then use mesh weld to parent. And it'll join them together and select the boundary. So we can use S to smooth the boundary a bit and then it's ready for sculpting. Just change the material so we get a better view of the surface. Using the clay brush with a nice smooth way to sculpt. And we've joined the arm on. Now for the other arm, I'm going to use um, a slightly different technique. Um, <clears throat> This way we're sort of going to do the, the welding process manually, um, which is useful sometimes for trickier objects to join together. So to start off with, we're going to make a copy with the edit duplicate of the parts we're going to use. Um, and we're going to parent them under each other. We're going to parent the arm to the torso and we're going to parent the other torso to the other arm. So we've got the sort of parenting groups in two different directions. And then we're going to mask from children on the parent. And this selects everything inside the child object. Now I'm going to just relax the, the edge boundary and smooth near the boundary. And we've cut out an area and we're going to then <clears throat> use delete in a selection to delete basically the yellow faces and this has cut a, a neat hole in our mesh where the arm was now we're going to do the opposite with the torso parented to the arm select the arm masks from children hide the torso and now we've selected the area of the arm inside the torso we can smooth the boundary, relax near the boundary. And when I'm ready, uh, mesh delete in the selection. If you just press delete, it would delete the, um, the edge points too, whereas we want to keep that nice smooth edge. Then we select both of these objects and use mesh join. Now they're both part of the same object. I'm going to select the area all around where I want to join the holes, um, stitch the holes, and then smooth out that area. You don't, if there's only one hole in the model, you don't necessarily have to do that selection. It'll automatically join the two holes together. Um, but for more control, you select the area around the holes you want to join. Again, I'm clearing the color because I had some excess color left on the arm and using the clay brush to smooth and sculpt that into the body. So that's the torso and arms joined together. Now let's try something a bit trickier. Move on to the foot. Now the foot's tricky because there's lots of toes close together <clears throat> with fine edges between them. So I'm going to change the Mox Voxel Merge properties and change that to fine. Um, you can't see the dialog box because of my recording software. But I've set the Voxel Merge properties to fine. And then when I merge group, it'll merge with lots and lots of triangles. Let's relax that mesh again. Far too many triangles for this foot, about 90,000. So I'm going to use the sculpting tool, reduce to 10% to crunch down that number of triangles and then relax the result. And now we've got a much more manageable mesh, which is suitable for sculpting. OK, 
Okay, use the clay brush with a little bit of pinch turned up. Let's add some definition to the toes. Um, and use the sub brush with pinch set quite high to cut in between the toes again, where the merge has joined them together. That's basically how I did the foot. And the hand, I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to use the, uh, the voxel merge with a, a fine resolution. You can set the resolution however high or low you like, but the, the presets of medium and fine uh, tend to be useful for pretty much everything I've made so far. So the hands made out of a few primitives, a blob and some line objects. When we merge it, you can still see it's quite well def defined. You can see those objects through it. But when we reduce to uh, maybe 20%, the reduced object is much easier to smooth because it's a less dense mesh. So we can sculpt and smooth into this joined mesh quite easily. using the soft move tool to reshape the thumb. Again, the clay brush just to smooth over and fill the gaps. So I'm just doing a quick sculpt here. You can spend longer. Adding some knuckles. And that's basically the process I used. I didn't join the hand onto the arm. And I didn't join the feet onto the legs because I, I didn't need to. That was covered over by clothes. Um, and that's the, the final model rendered in Blender.